My name is Father Joe. F A D O to the J O E. Obaluko. I chose not to respond to uh, Mama Esabod in the past. For the last video I did, because um, what I said was that she was uh, a mentally derailed woman. There is no point responding to such a woman. But what I've come to do today is not to respond to her. It's to seek for help for her, that the woman needs to be sent back to psychiatric home. I am a nurse, as you can see, in my work. So what it means is that I deal with uh, people that are sick, people that need help. And someone like that woman, Mama Ezabod, she needs help. And right now, she needs to be returned back to a psychiatric hospital, a psychiatric lockdown, because a mental illness is getting beyond normal. I don't know if people that are following her knows that, or people that are, uh, are listening to her knows that, or people that are sharing her videos knows that. I don't follow her. I don't listen to her. Even when she, they said she talked about me, I chose not to respond because you know why? She does not deserve a response. But what the video that is uh, is being shared to me called for me to actually come to this attention that something must be wrong with this woman because all she said in the video can only be said by someone who is derailed. Mama Isabel said in the video, you know, cursing Yoruba people for over the Yoruba nation issue. There's nothing wrong for Yoruba people to have a nation. My only point about it was that it was not a ripe time for it yet. And let's just leave it that way. I'm not going to go for that. But what pricks me was when I'm hearing Mama Esabot talking about that Yoruba, Nigerian youth are lazy. I take exception to that word to say Nigerian youth are lazy. You said Nigerian youth are lazy and federal government should do everything possible to staff Nigerian people, to staff Yoruba people. I'm ashamed if you're a Yoruba woman because I have women like you, like a mother that I take care of around the world. And if so bad words are coming out of their mouth, I will be so ashamed to call them a mother. I'm afraid if you have children, if you have children, I'm afraid what they are saying to you. For you to open your mouth as a, as, as a Nigerian to say, Nigerian government should starve Nigerian people, should starve Yoruba people because they are asking for Yoruba nation. You are, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm not, I'm not even sure if you're a Yoruba woman. If you're one, then you're not supposed to be called a Nigerian. For you to say the Nigerian government should be starving your own people. You may disagree with what they are saying. You may disagree with people that want a Yoruba nation. But you don't take it to the extent to say the Nigerian government should be staffing Nigerian people. Then something is wrong with you mentally. You also say Nigerian youth are lazy. Nigerian government should not give them job. Mama Esabol, tell me which job Nigerian government provide in the first place for Nigerian people, for Nigerian youth. Nigerian youth are the most hardworking youth in the old world. I'm a youth representing Nigeria and I'm working in the medical field saving lives. I live in America. I have a lot of Nigerian youth that are, that are doctors, that are nurses, that are in, the, in the, a lot of things. I run a company. I own a company in America as a Nigerian youth. There is so much Nigerian youth in Nigeria that who, are, who, are, who are doing makeups, who are doing, who are, who are into internet marketing, who are doing uh, 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 tailoring, who are doing a lot of, who are doing, who, are, who have shops and doing a lot of things, and you open your mouth to say Nigerian youth are lazy. Where is the job that the Nigerian government provide for Nigerian youth? These are youth that are fetching for themselves, youth that are fighting for themselves. There could be some youth who are doing scamming, but ask yourself. Even when they say uh, an idle man is devil's workshop, when these youths are idle, then they could go into something else. What does your government, the Nigerian government, provide for the youth in the last 20 years, the last 30 years, the last 50 years? But these youth are the ones fighting for themselves, looking for business for themselves. Nigerian youth are best basketballers in the world. Nigerian youth are best, uh, is, is Anthony Joshua. Nigerian youth are all over the world, all over the world representing Nigeria. And you stay in Dublin. Lazy you in Dublin, on government assistance, insulting you that are in Nigeria that are struggling for their life when you are under benefit in, 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 in UK. You are living in a basement or you are living in an apartment with benefit, with, 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 with benefit and you are talking about Nigerian youth that are building houses around the world 
I own a house in America as an Indian youth. How dare you talk about Nigerian youth and say Nigerian youth are lazy? It is so sad that people that are following you need to call you out and call you to order. But I feel most importantly, you need to be sent to a psychiatric home because it looks like you're no longer taking your medications, Mama Isabel. If you are taking your medications, I do not think you will wake up and be doing such a video insulting all Nigerians, insulting all Yorubas, insulting all Nigerian youths. When you are nothing, when you run out of the country to go and be on government benefit in another man's land. It is so sad that people are listening to you and people are sharing your videos when you are supposed to be shut down. You are talking and asking Nigerian government to, to, to start acting Nigerian youth. You even talk about Nigerian government should be arresting Nigerian youth who are on the street. Really? In a democratic nation? In a democratic era, for Nigerian government to be arresting Nigerian youth on Nigerian road, what a what a what a what a what a human being are you? Who are the people that are listening to your video and are listening to you say all of this and they feel it's okay? No, it is a mental issue. It's a mental problem, and I think someone should be able to, you know, ask the Joe Dublin or UK government wherever you are that this man needs to be sent back to the psychiatric home because that is where you're supposed to be. If you are one of my patients and you are talking this way, I will make sure you are locked down or you are given some medications to knock you down. Because it does not look sensible. What you are saying? I, 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 I judge down some of the things. You say Nigerian youth are lazy. Nigerian youth should be locked down. Your bad people should be starved. Nigerian people should be starved. It is shameful. It is shameful and, and I feel that a support needs help. I don't insult elders. I don't even insult people in my video. I just talk about opinion, I attack issues, and I let it go. I am not, I'm not like you, cursing other people. You are, you are, um, you are supposed to be a mother that some of us supposed to learn from. We can't even learn from you. Young people cannot even listen to you. With the amount of insult, amount of curses, negativity that comes out of you, negative energy that you bring out to the public, and you're running a blog. No. Something is wrong somewhere. I, I think... This woman called Isabel should be taken to psychiatric home because she is mentally out of it. My name is Father Joe, F A D O to the J O E. Obaluko.